I am Ines Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today with another exciting tutorial we're going to see how to create a nice glow title in Adobe After Effects but we're going to take it a step further we're going to add some cables how to put it on a wall and also how to light it very well so this is what we're going to create today if you don't feel like following this tutorial or you want to support our YouTube channel you can always buy this template on our website with the link in the description for those that do want to follow this tutorial let's get started and let's create a new composition right here so I'm going to make a full HD composition I will rename it main comp I will change it to something like 300 um, frames long which means 10 seconds long well um, if we have 30 FPS of course click OK and I'm going to uh, import an image here so I'm going to import this image and I'm going to drag this into my composition I'm going to make this a 3D layer and then I'm going to scale it a little bit less so it looks something like this. And then I'm going to add a motion tile, so effects and presets, uh, search for the effect called motion tile. I'm going to apply this to my background and the height of 120 I'm going to add and well, maybe also on the edges we never know if we're going to scale it up or down later on. And then I'm going to right click new and add a light object here and we're going to create a nice warm color here so something like this. Click OK and we're going to change it to uh, this to a light type spot and click OK. And now we have a nice light on our background which looks very cool. I'm going to press AA twice so double tap the letter A on the keyboard and feather this 100% and maybe also change the cone angle to whatever you want. I'm going to bring this up a little bit and I'm going to uh, dry, well rotate it with the rotation tool a little bit down here on the X so the rotation tool is right here. Okay, um, we have our background set up, which looks pretty cool. Now I'm going to add our text. So what we want is uh, some text that is actually sticking to the background and then later also flickering on. So I will create a new text. Uh, I'm going to click here, neon title. Okay, I'm going to make this a light um, font. So something like this. And I'm going to put it right in the middle. So I'm going to the align tab here and just center this out. Okay, this looks okay. Maybe um, normal might look as well. So regular, let's uh, take this for now. Or actually, light and regular is a big difference. I'm going to keep it at light for now. And I'm going to layer pre-compose and pre-compose my title. Okay, so what I want to do here is just lower the opacity to something like 10. And then I'm going to apply, well, maybe 15 can be uh, could work as well, something like 15. Go to the effects and presets and add CC vector blur. And let's go for something like three or four, something like this. And this is going to be our glass, for example. So um, it's not a big deal. It's just for in the beginning of our video. And I'm also going to um, add a drop shadow here well actually we don't need any shadow once the light is there but for now let's add it okay and there we go now we have our neon title um, out of glass I'm going to duplicate my title and actually we can uh, increase this opacity something like 25 could work as well and here I'm going to press T on the keyboard and then just make it 100% again then I will click on my title and change the vector blur to something like 10 so we get these harsh uh, highlights right here and then effect generate fill and here I'm going to pick a nice color something like a nice warm yellow color and click OK looks pretty cool now what I want to do is actually make sure that it's attached to the background so give that impression what I will do is just make sure I don't have any layer selected we will click here on my rectangle tool and I will zoom in and make something like so so very small you can uh, click here I'm just going to make it black for now we're just dark gray doesn't really matter because you're not really going to notice it but it does give a nice impression that it's actually sticking to a wall so now you can duplicate it and then just um, move it down here and then just duplicate it again and just uh, try to position it um, yeah as much as you think that needs to be connected for a glow text so that's completely up to you I'm going to leave it as it is right now so now we have our text for example here sticking to our wall 
and this is really going to sell the effect of course you can also add a gradient if you want it to be super realistic but if we're going to see it from this distance it looks all right for now so uh, we're going to keep it as it is right now so I'm going to uh, go to my project manager, click on the title and actually duplicate it over here. So control D and that way we have two different uh, sequences with our title and this title should actually be our title too. So I'm going to click on this title and click on my title too and then hold alt and drag it onto the same layer and that's going to switch from compositions. And here I'm going to jump in, make sure I can see my background so it's a little bit easier to see. Click on my title, go to uh, animation add text effector and add a wiggly effector here I'm going to add property opacity so that's right over here and then I want to click on the stopwatch make it zero and then right over here I want to make it 100 and now that we have our two keyframes let's open up all the animation settings here so let's open that up animator wiggly selector and here what I want to do is at the beginning, the minimum amount, I want to set it at 100. Click on the keyframe, move a little bit, and then just set it to minus 100. So now it's going to flicker on and then maybe move this a little bit more like so. And now we have it getting on and flickering a little bit. Wiggle per second, I will put it something like 10. So it's going to flicker a little bit faster. And this looks pretty cool. So I'm going back to my main comp. Now if we're going to see this. Okay, so what I want to do now is right click new solid. And I'm going to create a new black solid layer. Make sure it's black, click OK. And drag this below our title too. Then just select your title too and your background. Pre-compose and then just click OK. Of course you can name everything to organize it a little bit better. And I'm going to change the mode here so you can toggle the switches. Change the screen blending mode to a screen. Well, for the correct <laughs> composition, of course. And now we will see something like this. And now, if we're going to apply our perfect glow, uh, which I've made a video about, if you want to see that one, uh, if you apply that right here, we can also lower the threshold and we will get a nice glow title. like so which looks pretty cool and let's see what it ha what happens if we add this okay add looks also pretty cool and let's see what this gives us also what I like to do is just go to my light settings press a a twice again and just change the intensity something like 25 or 35 50 um, maybe make it a little bit more orange Okay, this is looking better. So now we have something like this and then we can play around of course with our glow threshold here. Um, maybe something like 10 would work. Okay, and if we're going to preview this, we're going to get our text here, our title. And it's going to flicker on in these kind of glass tubes which make it look really cool. Okay, what I want to do now is actually add some cables to my text because it's actually connecting to each other so they can take electricity from the beginning uh, till the end. So what I've done here is actually I created a new solid layer. I renamed this cable, click OK and check this for now and then go to the pen tool and I will just draw something like this. I actually want to come in like so. And of course you can go crazy in this and also add these kind of connections to our cable. You can do that, uh, whatever you want. But here we have our first cable. What we'll do here is um, I'm just going to check it on again. Go to my effects and preset and add a stroke. A generate stroke and apply that stroke to our uh, solid layer and then just click all masks and that's going to find all masks from now on and then we're going to click here on transparent or on original image transparent should be fine okay here on the cable what I will do is actually add some blur so Gaussian blur and apply this to our cables blur it for something like five 
And now what I want to do is actually give it some kind of gradient so that it doesn't look, yeah, something simple because we could go here and then just change the color uh, to something like black and it would look okay. Um, for some people this is fine. But what I want to do is actually make some gradient here so we have some highlights on our text. So what I've done is click on my solid, go to effect, color correction and added color rama. And of course go to output cycle and change this to a ramp gray. And of course this doesn't look nearly as <laughs> I expected it to be. And that's because we are working on a transparent background. So I'm going to right click reveal well on original image. And that's going to add this kind of gradient to our uh, stroke. So I'm going to click right over here and make it a little bit darker. And now we have a dark gray cable, um, which you can make even darker. Um, but that way you have a little bit more detail into your cable. And if you lower your blurriness, your cable is also going to thin out. So right over here we have our cable. Doesn't look too good, but it's okay for now. I'm going to click on my solid layer pre-compose and then click OK to actually get our background back. I'm going to click on that composition, go to Effects Keying, and I'm going to click on Extract. And here I'm just going to pick these buttons and I'm just going to drag them in just a little bit, not too much. And there you go, so now you have your cable onto your background. I'm going to drag them below my title. And there we go, so we have our cable and it's a little bit too thick, so I'm going to uh, lower this to something like two. And there we go, we have it. I'm going to copy um, my text tag actually, so I'm going to uh, copy the title, go in the cable comp and paste my title right over here. I'm going to uncheck uh, so we can actually, well, it's okay like this. Click on the um, title, right click and create a guide layer. So now it's actually a guide layer, but it's not going to show in the other uh, composition. So this is purely as a guide, so we can actually continue making these cables. So I'm going to click on cable, go to my pen tool, and then go in here and just drag something like so. Now we have a cable over here. I'm going to click away, click back on this, and then right over here maybe we can uh, go and create a cable. And maybe let's continue with this cable until the end. Click away, click back on that solid, click over here. And yeah, make it connect with that T here. Click away, click back on it. And let's do the same thing for the I. Let's continue to the T. Or maybe even the L. So now we have our complete text, um, yeah, connected with a cable. And that's, that's going to make it look a little bit more realistic as you can see right over here. So that's uh, looking pretty nice. And there we go. So now we have some cables added to our text. And then lastly, what we should do is just toggle the switches, make sure our background is a 3D layer. Also make our cable, uh, make everything actually a 3D layer. And I'm going to connect everything apart from the original title to our title. And now we can move around a little bit. So this is our title. If we're going to uncheck this, uh, this is our glass title. So this is our glow title. We want to move this up front, uh, up front a little bit. So. Um, actually both of these. So I'm going to click on both of these or actually just on the title, excuse me. So click on the title and just move it in front of us a little bit. So and drag it to minus 25. And then for the second one, also press P on the keyboard and drag this in a little bit as well. And there we go. So now we have it a little bit in 3D space and everything is going to be following it. Okay. Looks pretty cool. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, right click new and add a new camera. Click OK right click new and add a new null object and this is going to be the controller for our camera so I'm going to bind my camera with that null object and make it a 3D layer as well uh, for that null and then we're going to press R on the keyboard and click on the beginning of your timeline click on all the stopwatches for all of these rotations and then move ahead until you have your complete text here and what you can do here is just uh, animate your rotation a little bit if you want to you can rotate it a little bit like this and like so. And you can see here the background, so what you can do is just uncheck the um, transparency. And that way you can actually animate your camera with a really cool look, so there we go. If we're going to play this back, you will have your glowing title, so I'm going to lower my resolution to play it back for you. And there we have our title, looks pretty cool. 
Uh, of course, if you're going to click on our title and press AA twice, uh, currently it's very dark and the reason why is because it's actually accepting lights. So I'm going to click this off and there we go. So now we have our title back in a nice glow. I'm going to preview this once more. Let's see what we have here. Alright, so there we have our glowing tile. It's in 3D space. You can see that it's not really connecting to the wall. So like it's actually on a kind of setup. And yeah, I think it looks pretty nice. You can change the colors, of course, to whatever you want. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a like and also subscribe to the channel for more videos. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.